we look at equations involving indices. So we have two types of equations, but in this video, we'll look at uh, the first type, which is equations with an unknown index. So when you have one an unknown index and you are solving the equation, which is under indices, the law is that you light both sides as a power of the same base, then you equate. What are we trying to do? Or what are we trying to say? We have equation number one, where we have uh, three to the power x is equal to 81. So we have to make this 81 also have a base three. So we have three to the power x is equal to three to the power what exponent? Or what number will you raise 3 to the same number that it gives you 81? So, if you are to do the mathematics, find that 3 to the power 4, it is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and the answer is 81. So, we have 81. Now that the base are the same, now you equate. When you equate, you cancel the common base, because this one is, com is the same as what we have at the other side of the equal sign. So if we have these two are identical, you equate them or you cancel them. Then you say x is equal to 4. So the value of x in equation in example 1 is 4. We go to b. To b we have 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 64. So we have 2, x plus 1 is equal to, we also change this 64 to have a base 2. So we have 2 to the power 6, because 2 to the power 6 is 64. Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, it gives us 64. So now that the base are the same, we again equate we also equate the, the, the index. So we have now x is equal to 6 minus 1 and x is equal to 5. So this is what we have. Then we go to question number, number C. Question number C is 9 to the power x, which is equal to 27. 9 and 27 they have a common base or a base, a number which when you, when you square it or you raise it to the power 3 or to the power 4, it may give you a 9 or also gives you 27. Because if I was to write 9 this side and also 9 this side, 9 to the power 2 or 9 to the power 3 or 9 to the power 4, it won't give me 27. It will give me more than 27. Therefore, we have to convert this 9 and also 27 to a common base. What is the common base of 27 and also, 20, uh, and also 9? So the common base is 3 because the 3 squared is 9. Then 3 to the power 3 is 27. Then we learn something under the laws of indices that when you have the exponent or the index and another index, you multiply the 2. So in this case, we are going to have 3 to the power 2 multiplied by x, which gives us 2x is equal to 3 to the power 3. Now that the base are the same, we equate. So we have 2x is equal to 3. We have divided by 2 and this side by 2. So we have x is equal to 3 over 2. So this marks the end of the examples which we have. And now let's now look at uh, sample exam questions that comes in line with this first, uh, the first type of equations when we are solving indices. So these are the exam questions we have. I've sampled some of exam questions and we have two questions there, and the, the third one, it will be done by yourself. 
then you just send the feedback. The first question says, given that uh, the root of 2 is equal to 2 to the power x, find the value of x. So, we find the solution, question number 1. The root of 2 is equal to 2 to the power x. The root of 2 is, is, is the same as saying 2 to the power 1 over 2, which is equal to 2 to the power x. So, since now the base are the same, we are now going to equate. So, we have 1 over 2 is equal to x. So, the value of x has been found, and you find or you get the 2 marks. You are awarded with the 2 marks in your final exam. Let's go to B. Question number B says, given that 8 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 16. So we have to make the 2 have the same base. Why having the same base? Because uh, the, the unknown is the index. The index is the one which is unknown. So we still use the same, the same law or the same law. So we we'll say, which one will be the common base for 8 and 16? The common is 2. 2 to the power 4, not 4, but 3. 2 to the power 3, then x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power 4. Because 2 to the power 3 is 8, but 2 to the power 4 is 16. Then we know the law which says, when you have the index and another index, you multiply the two. So we are going to have two to the power three times x to be three x, three times negative one to be minus three, which is equal to two to the power four. So now we we'll say we equate the two. So we have three x minus three is equal to four. So we have three x is equal to four plus three. 3x is equal to 7 over 3 and this part, other part over 3. So of x is equal to 7 over 3. This marks the end of our question. I'm giving you the task there. Try to work out that question and send the solutions. Otherwise, we are ending here and you meet in the next video. Thank you.